Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of boho rustic desert tumbler design. I really hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Starting off with a sheet of patterned vinyl. This is from the Vinyl Cottage. It was a freebie Friday a couple weeks ago, so I'm not sure if at the time this video is being released, if it's listed on the website yet. If it is, I will have it listed down below in the description box. Um, if not, just keep checking the site. It should be available there soon. This is a transparent sheet of vinyl, so we are going to cut it down and we're gonna put it on a white tumbler. Um, if you wanted to put a glitter base down first and epoxy it, you can do that. But I'm going to go straight in on a powder coated white tumbler from Craft Haven. So I cut it down to be about half the tumbler and we're going to wrap this around the bottom half of our cup. So I'm going to wrap it around, make sure that the stripes line up. That's very important. You don't want to have your stripes be wonky. So just make sure you get that as straight as you can. And then secure one end of your vinyl down with a piece of tape. And then you can slowly start to smooth the vinyl onto your tumbler. So I'm going to lift up the backing and then push the vinyl onto the cup, which will push the backing away in the process. I'm using a felt edged squeegee as always to help me get the vinyl as smooth as can be with no bubbles or wrinkles or anything. I'm going to try to trim off the excess vinyl as close to that seam as I can. I am going to leave a little tiny sliver of overlap just so I don't have the vinyl like shrink up and then leave us a gap in the back. But as you can see, when the vinyl is layered on top of itself, it kind of gets a little darker. So I just wanted that seam to not be a huge distraction in the design. So once I've got the vinyl on my cup, I'm going to move up to the top half. And on this half, we're going to spray paint almost like a little bit of a desert sunset vibe. So I'm gonna use red, hot pink, orange, and yellow, and I'm just gonna spray paint a very slight ombre of those four colors on the top half of my cup. So I'm gonna tape off the bottom half, mask it off, make sure we don't get any spray paint overspray on that bottom vinyl part, and then I'm gonna spray paint my ombre. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna let it dry for about 45 minutes, and then we'll be ready to apply our glitter. I'll be using the epoxy method to apply our glitter. So I'm going to apply a very, very, very thin coat of epoxy to the top half of my tumbler and also to the bottom. The glitter we're using is Chantilly from Peachy Olive Glitters, and it's a very fine cut. So you don't need a lot of epoxy for this application. If you're using a chunkier glitter, you might wanna use just a smidge more epoxy. That'll help your glitter lay flat and make your coats of epoxy later much easier. But since this is such a fine cut, I used maybe like one milliliter of epoxy, not a lot. So once I've got that on, I'm gonna go in with my glitter and you can see that Chantilly is going to pick up all of those tones underneath. So your base coat does matter. So on the bottom, you can see I just left it white. It looks really pretty on a white base, but it also is gonna pick up that very subtle kind of desert sunset that we spray painted. Once I've got the glitter on, I'm gonna remove my tape, let this sit and dry for a couple hours, and then I'll go in and just spray seal my glitter. I just used clear gloss from Rust-Oleum, and then I added two coats of epoxy to my cup. So now we are ready to go in with all of our vinyl work. I want to do a kind of like desert sunset cactus wrap around this top half. So I'm going to measure around my tumbler and also the height of this half so that I can find an SVG that will fit perfectly in that space. To do that, I'm going to go to Creative Fabrica. So I want to thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm going to show you how I find SVGs on here and also how you can create an SVG from resources using Creative Africa. So I went into a private browser window and I searched for cactus SVG and I found this Southwest Desert Landscape Cactus SVG and it is perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. And if I didn't have a membership, I would have to pay $3 for this file. But because I have an unlimited all access membership, I can go, I'm just gonna go and log into my account and you can see I can just download it straight away I don't have to pay anything, it's just included in my membership. So I'm gonna download this and then I'm going to bring it into Silhouette Studio. So to do that, I'm gonna go to File, Merge, and then I'm gonna click on the SVG part 
And then once you bring it in, it might be in a bunch of separate pieces. So I'm gonna select all of my pieces and you can either weld them together if you're using um, Cricut Design Space or in Silhouette Studio, you can select everything, right click and then make compound path. And that's gonna make everything all one attached piece. So then you can go in and resize it. I made mine nine and a half inches wide because that's the width of the tumbler that I'm using. And to go along with this cactus wrap on the top, I wanted to create a quote decal that I can put on top of this. So I'm gonna go back to Creative Fabrica and I'm gonna go through all of these fonts to find a couple of fonts that I can use to create my own decal. As you can see, there are a ton of fonts on here and the great thing is they are all included in the unlimited all access membership so you can just go wild download as many of these as you want and use them in your crafting so i will warn you this is a rabbit hole i have gotten stuck just scrolling downloading looking at all of these fonts and when i look at the clock I have lost hours because I'm so obsessed with looking at these fonts. So just a warning, set aside some time. One of the features I really like when I'm looking at fonts is that you can see what your word or your name or whatever will look like in a bunch of different fonts. So if you don't wanna download everything and test it, you can test it before you download. So I knew that I wanted the word Wanderlust to be in a really pretty script font. So I tested out a few of them downloaded them, and now I'm going to actually send them over to my iPad because I do all of my designing in Procreate. If you don't, you can just keep them on your computer and import them to your Cricut or whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna airdrop them over to my iPad. And when I do that, it's gonna ask me to open my files in Procreate. I'm gonna click on that and it will automatically put those fonts into the Procreate app. So once I'm in Procreate, I'm going to open a new project and then I'm going to go to add a text box. So you'll go to the wrench icon in the upper left hand corner, then add text, type in whatever you want, and then you can change the font. The font I decided to use for Wanderlust is called Rustling Sound. So I'm going to change the font of that and then I'm going to resize it and make it the bigger part of this decal. So you'll go up to the arrow to select it and then you can just drag it, make it as big as you want. And then I'm gonna go in and add a second text box so that I can add the second part of my quote here. So the quote I'm designing here is Wanderlust and Desert Dust. I thought that was a cute quote for this cactus desert themed cup. I will put this SVG file into my Facebook group, MBMM Makers Community. So if you want this file for free, you can join my Facebook group and download it. I'll have my group linked down below in the description box. So I changed the font of the and desert dust portion to Western Carlo. That's also from Creative Fabrica. And then I'm going to just rearrange it until I like how it looks remove the white background from my layers, and then export this as a PNG, send it back to my computer, and then bring it into Silhouette Studio. So then I will resize it to the size I want. I think I made it like four inches wide, maybe four and a half. And then I'm gonna cut it out on my Silhouette. All right, we are back to our tumbler, and we're gonna start by applying our Cactus Sunset Desert scene to our tumbler. So I cut this out of a really pretty chrome vinyl. I think this is from Craftables, if I'm not mistaken, um, Shop Craftables. And I'm going to weave this on my tumbler. There are a lot of tiny little pieces in this decal, and I don't want any of those to get lost. So I'm going to apply my transfer tape to the entire unweeded decal, and then I'm going to remove the backing. This vinyl is not the easiest coming off the backing, so I'm going to remove the backing before I put it on my tumbler, and then I'm actually going to replace that backing with my transfer tape backing, because it's got a little bit of a different finish and it just comes off easier. So. I started actually to try and weed this on the transfer tape and then I decided I wasn't gonna risk it. I was just gonna put it on the cup first and then weed it. So I'm gonna line the bottom edge of my decal up with the bottom edge of the transfer tape sheet, the backing. And then I'm gonna line that bottom edge up with the straight edge of our vinyl so that everything is lined up perfectly and straight on the cup. Once I've got it in place, I'm going to smooth the vinyl on the same way I did with the pattern vinyl sheet. I'm going to use my felt edge squeegee and just push the decal on, pushing the backing away in the process.
Make sure when you're pulling your transfer tape away that you are very careful. You don't want any of those pieces to lift up. You don't want to ruin your decal that was so hard to just put on. So take your time removing your transfer tape. Once I've got the transfer tape removed, I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and pull up all of this excess vinyl from around my image very carefully. Again, you don't want to ruin your decal. So just be careful and take your time peeling all of this up. Once I've got everything weeded and done, you can see our little sunset looks pretty cool, I think. So I'm gonna add a coat of epoxy over that. Before I added the epoxy, I did do a coat of polycrylic. This chrome vinyl is notorious for having a lot of micro bubbles show under epoxy, but sealing it with either quick coat or polycrylic will help kind of prevent those micro bubbles. After that coat of epoxy is cured, I'm gonna go in and do all of my sanding. I'm gonna sand the top rim of my cup really well and then just very lightly sand the body of my tumbler. I want this to be as smooth as possible for the rest of my vinyl work. I'm gonna go in and add first a strip of vinyl to the middle part of our cup where our glitter section and our vinyl section meet. To do this, I am using, of course, my favorite vinyl. This is the Champagne Gold Textured Metallic Vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. So I'm gonna put that in the middle and then I'm going to move up to the top of the cup and apply our quote decal that we designed. I cut this out of red chrome vinyl, also from Tech Wrap Craft. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box for you. And I'm also going to reverse weed this. I'm not gonna do it on the tumbler. I'm gonna just do it on the transfer tape, remove all of that excess vinyl from around the decal, because as you can see, it is very thin, very finely cut, and I didn't wanna mess it up. So now I'm going to apply it to my tumbler. I decided to apply it to kind of the backside of our cup where the desert like ends where that middle point is it just felt kind of empty to me so I decided to put the decal there of course you can put it wherever you want moving back down to the bottom of our tumbler we're going to add some more stripes to our striped vinyl this is totally not required, obviously. I just wanted to kind of zest this up a little bit. So I cut some super thin stripes out of the same champagne gold textured metallic vinyl. I think these are 0.05 inches wide if I remember correctly and as you can see there I'm just adding them to the middle of each of those colored stripes just to break them up a little bit make them a little bit more interesting and then we're going to move back up to the top half of our cup and I cut out some little cactus silhouettes I also got this file from creative fabrica I cut them out of the same red vinyl that we used for our decal and I'm just going to place those randomly around our desert design here. I wanted to bring a little bit more of that red to the forefront and just add a little bit more depth to this top portion of the design. Now moving again back to the bottom half of our tumbler. I know I'm kind of going back and forth here, but I was looking at this and I thought that the white portion of our vinyl stripes was just a little bit too like bright white for this kind of desert rustic design. So I cut some more stripes out of a cream vinyl. This is Oracle 651 regular permanent vinyl. And I'm gonna place those right on top of the white stripes to kind of just make this look a little bit more rustic and fit in with the theme a little bit. You definitely don't have to do this. I just was feeling like it needed a little extra something. So I'm gonna add those to all of the white stripes on the bottom. And you can see I've got a piece of the metallic vinyl at the very bottom of the cup. I ended up removing that and replacing it with a cream stripe as well. I sealed my vinyl with a coat of polycrylic and then I went in with my final two coats of epoxy. So 
this is it. We are all done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was so much fun to put together. Definitely a little bit different than my typical bright, fun style, but nonetheless, I really enjoyed making this and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye.